Welcome to this session. Let's understand Commvault architecture. Commvault architecture is split into three components. The first is a ComServe and next we have media agents and finally we have client computers for which we perform backups and protect their data. A ComServe is an application which is hosted on Windows platform with MS SQL as its database. This can be installed on a virtual, physical or a clustered environment but for sure it has to be on a Windows platform as it hosts MS SQL database which can only be installed on Windows operating system so ComServe has to be strictly on a Windows operating system. You might say that the latest version of SQL database can be hosted on Linux platform too but we are not yet in a situation to host a ComServe on a Linux system. So remember guys, ComServe should be strictly on a Windows platform. And next we have our media agent. Media agent plays a role of data mover. It moves data from client systems to storage. Your storage may be anything. It may be a disk library, a tape or a cloud storage, or it may be a virtual tape library or anything else. Media agent act as a interface between the client systems and the storage and also it performs deduplication. It removes a redundant data which is getting backed up. Using deduplication database, Comvault almost saves 90% of data while writing to disk libraries. A deduplication database should be hosted on SSD drives it may be hosted on media agent or any of the systems but the deduplication database should be always in connected with media agent while performing backups and finally we have the client computers our client computers can be laptops data center servers or ec2 instances hosting databases email servers exchange sharepoint or any application servers all of these components can be backed up by installing a Commvault software or a Commvault client software called IDA or Intelligent Data Agent. For example, if you have got a Exchange Server to perform backup of Exchange Server, you need to install Exchange IDA in that server. After installing respective IDA, we can perform backup of that particular client computer. Similarly, that is also applicable for database. And to perform file system backups of servers, we need to install file system IDA component in respective servers. Whereas coming to the VMware, it differs. In VMware, we need not install any of the IData agent component because we deploy a proxy server which directly communicates to vCenter and performs backups. And all of these communications happens on port number 8400 and 8401. Previously in Commvault version 10, 8401 was replaced by 8402. But currently we are using 8400 and 8401. 8400 is called as a CVD port and 8401 is called as a event management port and data transfer happens on 8401 whereas the console communication happens on 8400 port. In a COMSOL environment there can be only one COMSOL hosted whereas our media agent can scale out based on the data inflow and outflow based on the data or the front-end application size of client computers you may scale out media agents whereas your media agents can be hosted on any of the operating systems and also the media agents can be connected to storage using a SAN fabric SAN switches or via a network switches media agents are intelligent enough to understand or communicate with any of the protocols like SCSI, iSCSI, FC and FCOE. Media agent and ComServe combine together 
perform backups of client computers and protect our data. Now, let me show you a different diagram. Here is a typical diagram of Commvault architecture or how we perform backups and replicate a data to cloud or a secondary data center. On my left hand side, I've got all my client systems for which I perform backups. I've got laptops, servers, EC2 instances, databases, and emails. Using ComServe and Media Agent, we perform backups of those system, performing deduplication or applying deduplication on the data that we are backing up. We write data onto our disk libraries or our cloud libraries. So this is my on-premise data center on which I'll be having the data or the backup of these devices will be residing on my storage in on-premise data center. And this data will be replicated to data cloud or a cloud, or this may be a secondary data center, which will be useful in case of actual DR. For suppose if, if a disaster has occurred and none of these components are available, I can perform restore of all of my data using my secondary copy of data, which may be hosted on a cloud or a different data center. I hope you are clear with this diagram. This is from documentation.comworld.com. Over here, we see the similar architecture, which I explained just before. In clients and agents, I have list of agents that are supported by Comworld. Here, I have backup agents, archive agents, virtualization, and replication. So let me select backup agents. Under backup agents, these are the list of client computers which are supported by Commvault. So that's it guys. We are done for this lecture. Thank you.